and good morning everybody um, <coughs> sorry uh, after posting the, the last two videos the uh, the guys on the forum were, were suggesting that I maybe took you through a little bit more of what's different in open XCOM than the original XCOM um, as you can see here there's now an extra two buttons on the the main menu screen uh, one is for the quick battle that um, you can it's basically just a skirmish uh, if you've ever played any like other RTS games you just set up and pick what your uh, options are who you're playing against um, equip your craft so you can then load up with whatever weapons you want or even just pick a random battle and go and go and play. Um, the option screen uh, allows you to pick resolutions which are much greater than the uh, the original supported, and it just basically just scales the screen accordingly. Uh, window mode, full screen mode, uh, volumes, and languages, which there are now twelve of, um, opposed to the original, which had four, I think. If I remember correctly, um, yeah. So that's that's the the start bit. I'll load up my uh, my previous game, and we'll we'll talk about the the changes as we go through it. I can't remember whether I was in a, a battle or on the geoscape, so we'll find out in a minute. Um, loading seems to take a while, which hopefully is. Uh, something that will get fixed. Oh yes, I remember this now. <laughs> um, okay, so one of the new features is the ability to scroll using the right mouse button, although I've got it configured with the middle mouse button, um, just because uh, I, when, I, when it was first implemented and I tried to change the direction of my, my unit's view using the right mouse button, he would, uh, I would just start scrolling the screen, which annoyed me a little. I think there's been um, code added to to prevent that from being such a issue, but uh, still. Um, I've also switched on the pathing. Um, you can see here. Sorry, I'm still getting used to the whole scroll button. Um, <coughs> which basically shows you the directions um, that he'll take before actually move him. Um, it'd be nice to show you the the expected time units at the end if we get that far. Um, if that option's on, but I guess that's something I can uh, add to the feature request. Um, okay, so I think that is everyone. <coughs> okay, so we go across here. Yeah, just check there is no one ready to jump out and kill us. Oh, you can also use the mouse wheel to go up and down, which saves having to go down and using these options. Um, oh, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know why every time I seem to start recording, I seem to start coughing. Um, that's weird. Where is this alien that I can see? Oh, there we go. So, okay, let's shoot through the wall and uh, probably not a great idea. Uh, let's just move out of the way now and bring Michael in. If 
fact, let's just kneel, get a bit more accuracy. Yes! Knees down! Right, so, you, right, let's go back to here. Um, Okay, for some reason, um, which I could do with putting this on the thing. You could, the mouse still scrolls after you let go of the the button, but that's probably just a bug. Um, sometimes it only scrolls while the mouse button's down. Sometimes it seems to carry on after uh, you've let go, which it just means you have to press it again to to get it going. But that's uh, not a huge deal. <coughs> Should be a trivial fix, I think. Uh, okay, so. Oh, and one thing I've noticed is we're not on that, so. One thing you can also do is you can close doors by the right mouse button. Um, similar to Terror from the Deep, I think. He used to be able to do it in that. Uh, which is always a nice option. Okay, so let us come down this way. Let's just. Okay, we can't shoot out the. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping we could just cut through, and but I guess I might have to walk around. Um, Right, let's send Sup Super over here. We'll, uh. Oh, right, okay, time units reserved. So, you can start getting across here. One of the features I would like to try and add at some point as well is um, a couple of features from XCOM Apocalypse which uh, determine whether <coughs> your reactions are spent running away or shooting, um, so your aggressiveness level. And possibly even turning on the ability to run and using it to decrease stamina at a faster rate. Um, there were a couple of really nice features from Apocalypse. Be uh, be nice to get them on. Um, I hope do. Okay, well, I am. Oh. Okay. So, we're. Oh, come on. Right. Oh, I forgot to move the, uh, the guys at the other end of the map. Okay, well, aliens don't seem to be moving much, so it gives us. chance and hopefully you can't hear all that noise in the background. Okay. And bring you down here. Bring you here. Right. Let's get you guys coming down. Um, you're going to have to walk around. Oh, whichever one, yeah. Oh, that's nice, it goes red when you can't get to that location. That's, oh, although can't get to that one either because of my reser reservation. And, let's... Yeah, so... Just check these out. So, no more nasty surprises from this side of the map. Although, I'd be very surprised if there's any more sectoids over here now. Uh, dun dun. Right, okay, let's start. 
preparing for the assault on the UFO. Just to make sure there is uh, no lingering surprises, I'll send a minute. in. across the bottom here, so... Yeah, okay. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, it'd be nice if that... glitch with the, uh, the scroll... was at least consistent, whichever way, but... Oh, that's not bad. Uh, let's just... Yeah, I can open up that door. Right. And I think I've got about a minute left. So, after... Up super all the way on the outskirts, making sure all the rest of the team is safe. Okay, so they're definitely still inside the UFO, um, and I shall call it a video there, and I'll be back in a minute.